Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, next update. Uh, another short one, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, but what we've been doing is working a lot on the structure of the interior. You saw that in the last update. Uh, we've made some more progress, so we'll go ahead and go over that. Let's take a look. So as you can see here, um, last time we uh, talked about uh, doing these uh, uh, panels here for the uh, interior, so the step panel. Um, and then what we've done is the dash itself. Uh, we've done this all out of steel. I've got some questions on why I'm using steel. Well, there's a number of reasons. First of all, I'm using steel because it easily holds its shape, it's easy to bend, um, and we will put foam and leather on top of that uh, after it gets painted. But uh, the other big reason is that uh, up front here is where our fuel cell is, and it just makes me feel better if having a somewhat of a firewall between me and the fuel tank. Um, the fuel tank is well um, protected with uh, tubular steel, but in any case, it's always a good idea to have uh, some more protection inside of the cab. We finished um, this... Uh, runner here, um, so this is the door jam area. Um, the next thing we're going to start doing is we're going to start working on the latch system. I actually have Lamborghini latches for uh, both doors, so we'll be putting those in. Um, and they'll be operated by those handles, which I currently do not have. So that's something that we're uh, still trying to source um, or figure out if we can 3D print one. Um, so that's not out of the question. Uh, the next thing is, is that um, we've got the dash uh, mounted in there and we also did the upper dash uh, in steel. So we've been uh, pretty busy getting all of that stuff uh, shaped and uh, mounted up inside of the car. The next thing we're going to do is the bolsters uh, on the side here. So we'll be filling those in, welding them in, giving more structure to the uh, dash itself. We also put in some side panels here uh, to uh, hold up the console. So that's where the console is going to live. We uh, still have to uh, figure out where we're going to place the gear shift. But uh, what I'm doing is I found a good model for the uh, center console, at least the top part of the center console, and I'm uh, 3D printing that currently. So once that's done, we'll put that in, and I made a provision for the uh, gated shifter to go in there. Um, we're gonna probably make the shift lever pretty short, uh, just so it doesn't get in the way. It's gonna be back a little bit, because we have to, at the tail end of that console, we actually have to have the parking brake uh, actuator. Uh, took the steering column out, of course, uh, just to get in here and have more access. Uh, to do most of the dash work. So anyway, I'm getting pretty pleased with the way it's looking. It's I think it's really looking the part. It's starting to have the feel of the real Aventador. We've got our door cards in and everything. Uh, they obviously still need a lot of work, but the doors in general need a ton of work because we're going to have to uh, French in the uh, door handles. I have Lamborghini door handles for that. And then we're going to have to finish all of the metal work. And then uh, we have to get some structure in there for the door handles themselves, because right now they're just kind of floating on there. Uh, so that's next. Um, one of the other ones is the side mirrors. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, so here's a <laughs> quite a spread of parts. Uh, let me uh, go through what we got here. So what we had is I bought a full uh, assembled side mirror. I got it reasonably cheap, um, so in the $300 range. Um, these are just kind of the shells or the covers. And then, well, more importantly, what I wanted was the, the structure. So this is a riser that goes inside here. And then this attaches to the top of this guy right there. And then is screwed in from below. Then this guy, is where the motor attaches. So we've got a motor here. And then we basically have this 
bolt on like that. Okay. All right. And then the motor actually sits in this piece here. Um, so let me get it in here properly. Sorry, doing this one handed. Uh, motor goes in here. Um, and then the actual tilt piece will mount like that. Okay. So what we've been doing is we've been uh, CAD modeling up uh, pieces because we don't have the passenger side. This is for the driver's side. So we need all of the structure for the passenger side. I actually got some of these guys, the uh, shells. They were re relatively inexpensive with, for just the plastic pieces. And then uh, we're printing them out in ABS and uh, trying to get them to match. So you can see these are my attempts at uh, those pieces. So after quite a while, we went through uh, almost three revisions of most of these pieces. And currently we actually have uh, some pieces that work. So this goes here, that mounts to that. Um, and then we've finally come up with, well, this is another revision of this guy, which is the holder here. And then finally we printed one out that uh, fits really nicely. Um, I do have one hole in the wrong location, but that's easy to fix. So once we're done, we're gonna actually commit these to carbon fiber nylon to give them some structure. <laughs> these are also 15% uh, infill just so that we can print them quickly uh, so we can go through those iterations. Um, when we do the carbon fiber nylon, we'll probably do a 90% or 100% infill. So we'll have to experiment with that and see which is the best. So, so this is what we're doing. Um, so I will have those files for the internal structure. And then that way we will have actual folding, uh, side view mirrors for the car. So this is, uh, making me quite happy now. The other thing is, is that it comes with gaskets. Okay. So these nice rubber gaskets here, well, guess what? I don't have these for the other side. So what are we going to do? Well, I think we can print this in, uh, maybe TPU, uh, and get some of that rubber type quality. Um, so that's one of the things that we're going to try with our new, uh, Queedy X max printer, uh, which is uh, printing out really nice parts. So uh, that's it for today. Um, so hope you uh, keep watching and um, come back for the next update. Um, so see you later. Thanks. Bye.